Before you go out and buy that brand new Milwaukee heated jacket, I really want you to know how you should properly wear heated gear and why maybe you should consider buying something other than a heated jacket. We're gonna go over all this stuff and give you a ton of great information. Stay tuned. So first I want to say I'm not bagging on any of the Milwaukee heated wear at all. It is awesome, it is top notch, and probably some of the best stuff out there. But even Milwaukee will tell you you need to wear heated wear close to your skin. And I think that's the first thing most people are doing incorrectly while they buy a heated jacket. They're wearing a sweatshirt or something over it. When you're buying heated gear, you need to buy something that you can wear close to your skin. So all you're going to have between you and the heated wear is a t-shirt. That's going to allow the heated wear to get the heat to your skin easily and have a layer of insulation over top of it so it keeps it there. That's going to allow you to run your heated gear at a lower setting and the battery life is going to be much longer for you and you'll just be happier in general. Number two, heated gear has to be purchased so that it is tight fitting. Now this vest that I have on is way too large. I mean, I can move it around and that is definitely not something that you'd want. You'd want to be able to bring this in and have something that is fairly tight fitting and will move with your body. If you buy a heated jacket and you buy it that's fairly tight fitting, your arms are gonna be too short or you're gonna restrict your range of motion in your arms and that's not cool. So to me, I would always recommend to anyone who's working outside, hunting, doing anything, or buying heated gear to buy it in a vest. You can get a vest, maybe buy it a size too small, or try it on, make sure it's tight, fits just with a t-shirt, and then you can wear it, throw anything you want over top of it, be a longer jacket, a shorter jacket, a dressy jacket, a work jacket, and you're set. You always have your heated gear that works, and you're ready to rock and roll. Now let's go over a couple more things that will get you either if you're wearing a Milwaukee heated vest or some other brand. So if you're a guy who never sits down or is always standing up working, not working in hallways where you're like bouncing off things or anything like that, the Milwaukee heated vest is actually great. It has a battery that sits off to your side. The battery pack will run any M12 battery. You can put a six amp hour if you want in here. You can charge your phone if you'd like. Very, very simple, plugs in just like anything else with a little DC plug. The kicker is if you sit down, you drive a truck, or you do anything where you're sitting as far as hunting, that battery pack is fairly large and kind of in a bad place if you have any sort of chair that wraps around you. If you're watching a football game or you're in a stadium, this is going to be your worst nightmare just isn't overly happy as far as where it is and how large it is. Now this is my wife's He2 jacket and simply she likes it because the battery is so slim and it's in the same position off to your side, maybe just a tad bit lower, but this battery is tiny. At least it's slim. You know, so if it was sitting up next to you, it's not something that is round and has multiple sharp edges, has a USB-A output, USB-C input, and the same type of DC output that's going to power the jacket. I'm gonna throw out another opinion to you on heated wear, take it or leave it, but I believe that your heated wear should not be something that is going to be a wear type material, meaning like this vest or the Milwaukee vest, whatever I'm wearing is not going to be on the outside and taking a beating. First, I'm paying a premium for this vest because it is heated. I want it to last a long time and it's not gonna be washer friendly. While this He2 or the Milwaukee will both go through a washing machine without issue, the more and more you run those heating elements and the wires and everything else through the washing machine, they're just going to degrade and last for a shorter period of time. So I protect my heated wear and I want to be able to have some sort of material that will easily slide over top of this. So just like a jacket, when you slide your arm through the sleeve, you don't want it to be a material that's going to stick to your arm because you'll pull that material right back out. You want to slide in, slide out. So if I'm wearing a hoodie over this or I'm wearing a jacket over the top of it, I want it to be able to slide and move around. 
This older model Milwaukee definitely is not something that would slide around on. It's meant for hunting. It's very quiet. You can rub up against it and there's very little noise where you can, this one is a lot louder. But if I'm wearing a sweatshirt or something over this He2, I feel a lot more comfortable because nothing is sticking to me. We're gonna turn both of these on high. As far as the Milwaukee, the heated wear is on the inside. On this one, you actually have your back and sides and also a hand warmer. When I'm looking at the He2, not only do I have the collar up top, heating up. I also have a place in the back that's heating. So the collar up there is something that my wife absolutely loves, keeps her neck warm. And then if we move around, that is the side pocket for the he two here. That is also heating up. If we go over to the Milwaukee, here's the side pocket. I don't like how this camera allows me to show you guys what's happening. And then we have the back portion. There is no collar heat on the Milwaukee. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, um, but simply here, they're both heating up. Let's look at the temperature. 87 degrees ish there. We come over to the heat to seven ish basically about the same heat so there are my recommendations on heated wear get a vest wear it tight wear a t-shirt under it nothing else go with that i think you'll enjoy it if you're looking for something for your wife uh, milwaukee does not really have a women's line but this he too line with the heated collar and everything else there this was 87 dollars and it's awesome my wife absolutely loves it. It's something that she can put any jacket over top of. So I think I would highly recommend this. I'll put a link in the description. As far as sizing, it's the same with my He2 vest. I purchased this in an extra large, which is normally what I would wear. I was a little afraid of China sizing because sometimes that'll get you. I definitely would order a large. And in my wife's case, this is a medium she definitely would have needed a small but of course we were a little afraid of the sizing there so feel free to order one size down they are a little bit big even for american sizing either way you go with this you can't go wrong get a vest i think you'll enjoy it a lot more than a jacket make sure you wear it the right way and that too will help you enjoy the heated wear a little bit more guys Comment below. If you haven't already, give us a like in the video, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate that. As always, have a great day.